These whack ass rangers have another thing coming. If they think they can outspit me, the pumpkin MC on all Hallows Eve. It's the season where demons are feeding on rangers. No reason for bleeding these bleeding teenagers. I'm cracking my mess and my wick burning black. You're trapped in my back and there's no turning back. Plus pouring from skies to summon the flies. Distorting the wise with my sunken in eyes. Recording the cries from your pumpkin demise. I'm scoring your cries to my fucking sick eyes. Readers don't bring ya a dead Halloween. Readers don't bring ya a dead Halloween. I said readers don't bring ya a dead Halloween. Readers don't bring ya a dead Halloween. <laughs> I'm Fangs McCauldron And I'm Nicole Happy, Happy Halloween. Halloween This is Mostly, Mostly Speaking Sentai <laughs> It's the witching season my friends okay. Oh <laughs> Or a little click Clacky, clicky, clacky. Yes, What was please. I? I was a spooky skeleton like Nicole. Spooky skeleton. Clicky, clacky, clicky, clacky. Those are the bones rattling from spine to other side of Babadook. the spine. Babadook. 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 Oh, it's so scary. Babadook. Guest, have you ever seen... <laughs> Babadook ain't good on the throat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you ever seen Babadook? Yes. <laughs> All right. That's enough speak for you, guest. Nicole, it's yeah. the scariest season of all, and I'm excluding tax season. Oh, the IRS. <laughs> <laughs> Internal <laughs> Revenue Service. That was really loud, Nicole. That's you why I laugh reverbed. Now. It is? It's scary. Yes. Guys, this episode will be full of scares, tricks, treats, and you better believe. Clicky clacky. <laughs> I didn't know where that was yeah, going. I was like, I was just waiting for it. All right. Wait for, wait for, wait. No. That's then he gets not shot scary. in the chest, and it's oh, like Hamilton. Scary. He's dying. I got to listen to Hamilton more. But Nicole, we're dressed up today. Uh huh. Uh, guys, everyone listening right now, you better believe we are in full costume. Nicole, what, what you dressed as? I already told you I'm a spoopy skeleton. I don't think that that was in bloopers, not in. I'm a spoopy skeleton. Nicole, and how? What? Tell us how you're dressed up. How'd you make this costume? Um, it's a onesie that I got, and it's got skeleton sewn onto it. And you better believe. I'm very attracted to Nicole when she's wearing that onesie. Oh, damn it, James. Ooh, but guys, guess what I'm dressed up as? Don't guess. I'll tell. Unless you're in the comments right now. And you probably will guess right. I'm a mashup of my two favorite things. I'm Nicole in a bowl of ice cream. Yeah, okay. guys. Not what I was expecting, but all right. Uh, I, I, it was, this is on a budget. So I had to just go to Goodwill. Luckily, I found like a used swim cap and I just painted it my skin color, to, which is white as hell because I'm Nicole. And I got on some sexy PJ pants, but they're just normal PJ pants. But if they're on Nicole, you better believe they're sexy as hell. Unfortunately, my bosom, as you can see, is barren. As the freaking <laughs> testicles I have, they're barren as hell. Oh my god! I got a vasectomy. Remember this that a bit year is ago? Way too fucking long. But Nicole, guess what? I have pillows as the ice cream, so I can relax. Get to it. Yeah, I'm freaking. Yeah, scubin. guys, don't doubt it. That's his real costume. And mm -hmm. I have a rustic fudge blanket, so I can be snuggled up. And I have a little stick to keep Frank away from eating the ice cream. Get out of here! It's not good for you. You, you're. Post diabetic? Like, what? Ah. Uh, I don't know. Uh, is post diabetic dead? I, I don't, don't know. know, guys. Uh, I was looking at our guest like I want him to talk because I do. And on top of that, I'm in a little red wagon that everyone needs to pull me around in because that's the bowl for the cream, the jeans, and the dream of mine, Nicole. I believe it. Yeah, guys, you gotta believe. But speaking of spooky things and 
pumpkin rappers. That's what our episode is going to be about. We have a fantastic return guest. It's been a while since we've seen you. I don't know the name of that song or the lyrics like all the songs in the world, except maybe a Hamilton one. Our guest is just chomping at the bit. You better believe he has little screws that are also called bits and he's just, he's chomping at them. I got to mix them out and post. He's laughing. Oh, he's got a little face that makes crazy. people smile. Oh, wait, wait. I'm a psycho. Eh? The Grinch? It's fine. It Today is Grinch's day, but let us introduce our guest. You know him as a rapper. You know him as a podcaster. You know him as a past guest. We know him currently as Nick period, a.k.a. Nick Foster, but today he is... Despiculous Imposter. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I worked on that one. Yeah. Good. And what are you dressed up as? Oh, I'm dressed up as the famous elder statesman, veteran wrestler, Marcus Henry, as his secret identity, sexual chocolate. I am in full leotard with dick underwear, uh-huh. just to put that out there, and wrestling boots, because do I don't by- know what wrestling boots are called other than wrestling boots so it's under i can't like i don't have my glasses on is it it's a full leotard so you are seeing this magic is the underwear covered in pictures of dicks or what's a dick's underwear the the bulge you see that is my dick is the underwear but the underwear is so good at showing my dick that you don't know the underwear is there which is a rhyme for this pumpkin rap episode i am ready oh i'm ready folks that's what you need to see legend i grew my hair into a full dread to be mark Henry, a single dread sexual chocolate but nicholas we're happy for you to be here and today guys speculous oh yes well you don't need to call me fangs or was I mange? I don't know. We also did this for This Movie's Gay. You <laughs> nice. guys got to check out those Halloween episodes. And Nicole, take it away for one whole minute. Yeah? <laughs> I just looked at the clock to be like, okay. Yeah, it's really funny. You got to speak up. Such Let the good. world hear your roars, your clicky no, clacks. If I talk really quiet, then you'll just cut it. No, I won't. I'll, I'll boost it in post. Oh. Her f- ah! Well, now that I can know. talk, I will say that this ice cream is delicious, and oh. I am glad that you've been distracted with Frank enough that I could eat it. No, no, it's just... It's it's just pillows. It's asbestos oh. pillows. Well, oh. that makes sense then. Honestly. Oh, man. I was trying to be nice because I'm a guest, but I've been pretty dizzy for a while now. Yeah, I mean... If you are a guest in someone's home, guys, don't eat their pillows, no matter what they're shaped well, like. If you are hosting, don't set up your pillows like ice cream. I have to be honest. And don't make them taste like vanilla, because that's great. Yes, that vanilla also could be asbestos. The asbestos. Do you want to know what I love eating? Like fiberglass, that's insulation, and it just cuts the roof of your mouth, and then you dip. You know, put some some chaw, some chew in your cheek. It gets in there so quickly. That's crazy. I mean, I probably should go to the hospital because I can barely understand most things going on right now. But I'm ready. Well, guess what? Frank is dressed up as a doctor, but a witch doctor, but a warlock, but someone good with the spells of medicine, a white mage. He's going to cast Kiraga on you and you'll be chipping chapper. That'll be good. That'll be great. And Franklin. He's- Probably far more reliable than Donald Duck is. Franklin, cast Kiraga. He did it. You're healed, yes? Yes, I feel great, actually. If he also has an antidote if you need that. That's good. Now I can get back to the ice cream. Hopefully we will not need the phoenix down. Oh, yeah. That, that's if someone faints in Pokemon. Digital monsters. Gotta get to champions. No, wait. This was a bit we cut from your first episode. We sang the entire Digimon thing. Let's <laughs> keep off from that. But guys... Today we watched Power Rangers. We'll get further into it, but the Power Ranger was a villainous rapper. And he's not good, spoiler alerts, he's not good at rapping. However, let me know, who do you think, out of all the villains out there, who would be the best rapper? All the villains? Yeah, speak yeah, that what into does the that mic. Mean? All, all the villains? You know, do you think the Joker would be a good rapper? Oh, Jared Leto's Joker would be a fucking dope SoundCloud rapper. I mean, I'm sure he already was at that point. I would have to say it's going to be controversial, but I think Lobo probably Oh, be. yeah. Because he's, he's been around. He's got a lot of different cultures, different slang that he's learned. He could probably 
bust out some better slang than E40. Some nice. coded reps. Oh, shoot. That's, coded reps. That's coming for E40. Oh, yeah. Oh, Nicole, what do you think? I don't know. Just name a villain. Oh, 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 oh. What's that called? Team Rocket. Both? Yeah, the whole team. Yeah, they, they have a pretty good flow when they get together. It's oh, a nice yeah. little group. So do you mean like Waba Fett, The Meowth. two, Jesse and James and Meow. Okay, Waba Fett could be their kind of hype man, like freaking Flavor Flav. I mean, Meowth has bars though. Like he's in when they rap. So they taught their cat how to rap. Yeah. Or he taught himself how. That Remember that sad ass episode where we find out why he learned how to talk? No. I don't remember why he learned, but I remember that episode. There was a Persian who was really fancy, but he was just a street meowth. And he was like, oh, I'll like learn how to stand on my two feet. I'll learn how to talk human and uh, I think learn how to dance. And he showed her all of this stuff. And she was like, you're still not good enough. And he was like, no. Wait a minute. Pokemon can learn how to talk. I get this one, Ken. <laughs> Wait, all of that? That's what the thing was. I thought there was something else with him that that was. No. I thought his special ability to talk was the thing that made him stand out from other Pokemon. And it made him isolated. And Team Rocket took him in. I thought that made sense. What? If he's around like a super wealthy person, why did he go to the Bronx to learn how to talk? Why the fuck is Pikachu not talking? I know. Pikachu doesn't even chill in a ball anymore. Yeah. You He's would always by he humans. Would want to yeah. learn English to be like, yo, if you're going to have me as your homie, I might as well just be your homie. Yeah. It's not like Brock's fucking doing anything. Yeah. For me, I think a chud would be really good at rapping. Isn't that the, the underground people? Yeah. I don't even remember what they look like. You I guys, assume they look like Toxic Avenger. Yeah, pretty much. You got to get a chud or a Wu Tang style critters. I don't know what those look like. Oh, either. okay. They're just like little balls of fuzz that eat people. So like the gremlins before they yeah. turn gremlin. Picture both. Like you mash both into one. Ew. Fair oh enough. man, Lady Gremlin. Oh man, she could sing a hook. God damn it. That's also why that was my sexual awakening was the Lady Gremlin. Don't know if I've ever said that on the podcast. But now you have. Yes, I have. Explains a lot. I know. Nicole once <laughs> was, I believe you told me this, you got me a pop figure and you could have gotten the Lady Gremlin one, but you were like, oh no, no, no. No, I don't think we got that one. Oh, dang it. You should have just said, yeah, you should have went along with the story. I mean, yeah, uh-huh. You said, no, James. I was like, no, if I get that, he'll only jerk off to this pop figure. Oh, yeah, busting mad nuts on, uh, maybe her name was Greta? Yeah. I, I just thought it was the girl grandma. She's got some DSLs, baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> you guys, uh, how, what? where are we? Oh, yeah, guys. We're 15 minutes in, so you know we gotta get with this episode yeah, summary. Yeah, like, I'm basically just waiting for you to do the episode summary so we can talk about the episode. Yeah, baby! Wheezy F, baby! Oh, you gotta kiss your daddy. Wait, you just keep... Oh, my God. You just gotta <laughs> talk about kissing dads. Uh, yeah. Maybe if you had a good dad, you'd want to kiss him. Whoa! You got a French kiss, you daddy. That's not taboo anymore. Okay. You got a French kiss, your father. Okay. And call him a freaking whore. <laughs> it's not taboo to give him a boop, 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 bitty doop. That's a kiss, uh, Betty like Boop. It. Guys, please remix this to some... Oh, you're filming this? No, I'm not. I'm just uh, holding what? my camera facing you. <laughs> this is being recorded. I know, but not <laughs> I'm gonna I'm going to waggle my penis in the camera, and then you can't post. I mean, that's fine. I'm used to your penis by now. Uh-oh. I already ate enough ice cream so I could see it. What? Oh, yeah. because it, I'm covered... No, I'm covered in, in fudge. you're in a costume, James. <laughs> no, but I'm covered in fudge. A yeah, blanket but I was fudge. ice cream under the fudge. That's just a blanket. Oh, that's the ice cream. You were really. How did I not notice this? Did you roll it? You rolled a nat twenty on stealth, didn't you? Why are you still filming? It doesn't need to be filmed. <laughs> I actually just realized I wasn't filming. Oh, <laughs> you didn't I held it up oh and you God. caught me right away. So I was just holding caught it. Caught red-handed. Yeah, that was sometimes good. I want to do th that to people on or the bus, but lying? I feel bad. Oh, that's mean. But like you're 
we're doing our thing. Uh, one time I did. So Do one what time to people on the bus, film them. Why? Uh, if they're doing something weird. One time I did no. want to film someone filming someone because I could t- like I clearly caught them doing creep shots, but I didn't yeah. want to try call them out because then it would embarrass the person who was getting creep shotted. I should have just like walked in front of them. And then waggled you my have just D. smacked their phone on the ground and said, "Throw it Full on the Conor ground." Conor McGregor, yeah, definitely. Conor McGregor. He took a fan's phone and just broke it in front of him. Whoa, <laughs> fan no more. And then they picked it up and left. And I think he got sued and paid for the phone and most other things that the guy wanted, probably. Yeah, emotional distress of a hero going crazy on them. He's a hero, but yeah, he just broke somebody's phone. Connor McGregor is a hero in wolf's clothing. I, I know, know he know punched an is. old dude, right? <laughs> what old dude? He just punched a dude in Ireland because he was taking shots with dudes at a bar, and he was like, you want a shot? And the guy was like, no, and he uh, fucking hit him. thought you were talking about Mayweather Jr., that old bitch. <laughs> no, I was a dude <laughs> older than him. <laughs> older than him. I thought you had said James, he didn't even he's knock not him out old. either. He just kind of sat there after he hit him like, that was fucked up. Hey, not every punch can land a KO, but let's get into the episode summary. Oh, yeah. It's all about the scares today because we watched season one, episode 54 of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers entitled Tickle Teet. Two of my favorite things, the tick on Fox Primetime and elongated teats. Stretch Armstrong? Nah, give me stretch tits long. But we start out the episode with Kimberly and the pink. I'm trying not to laugh in the mic, man. I'm no, you to, have to. I'm trying to give you your moment. No, yeah, remember, interrupt this. Okay. This is the time you interrupt and laugh. It makes it seem like I'm shouting at two strangers if you're not laughing. I mean, that's pretty funny, too, the thought that you're doing that. No, guys, you got to get them long nipples. Uh, her titties looking like AK bullets. That was a D12 line. Uh, uh, don't know which song, though. It's probably one where they're talking about bitches and titties. Uh, See, this is why I don't interject, because it just, like, encourages you to say yeah. other shit than know, to just great. keep reading. Yeah, but we start out the episode with Kimberly, the Pink Ranger, for those that only watch Sentai, because we are a Sentai podcast, after all, is walking on a board like a pirate who is also performing Shakespeare. She walks on the board with a twirl until she sees Tommy Oliver, and this is when things get hot for Pinky. She bites her bottom lip with a lusty grin and some musty quim. I thought we were watching a children's show, not an X-rated romance novel, Sad Mommy's Read. But Kimberly sees Tommy, the hunkiest man in green since the Grinch, who, as some of you know, Halloween is his day. Halloween is Grinch day. It's a movie. Look at it. Also a book. And Trini, or Trini, not sure, her name wasn't said, the sexiest lady. And I'm not going to finish this sentence because although her clothes were that color... It will still seem problematic and potentially racist. R.I.P. as well. Yeah, guys, she died in a car crash. Peace and love, baby. Uh, uh, Not encouraging any of this. (laughs) Guys, get dead in a car crash. I was genuine with my (laughs) (laughs) R.I.P. You made it terrible. (laughs) R.I.P. That means uh, revved, ignited. In paradise. You're talking Perished. About <laughs> uh, that's what happens when you die in a car crash, guys. I'm sorry. R.I.P. Something is wrong. What the fuck <laughs> is wrong with you? I meant it in the most respectful way. I meant it too. Peace and love, oh baby. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're a fucking maniac today. I'm a maniac. Maniac, don't know the lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> I performed recently and I had to rehearse so much to understand the lyrics. You did. We should talk about that at some point. Yeah, guys, we'll talk about it uh, when the mics are cut. Like my desk, death inference. Yeah. Uh, that's the part that brings the semen to the penis. Uh, the death of the first. Yeah, baby. I know medicals. I'm a doctor. Call me Dr. Love. Again, don't know the lyrics. Uh, 
<laughs> and she lets them know she's going to be a contestant on Trick or Treat, the most popular game show in America. Millions will see her. Not only that, she has a chance to win a new car. That's four more wheels than she already has. That's an M&M's infinite times more washer fluid than she has on her person. She will go from weak as human to possessing the power of 500 majestic, elegant, well-endowed horses. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole, make those noises in that mic, baby. No. Oh, no, be no, baby. I'm going to read it like this. Why is she so blase about this? But her main, I think, Tommy. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> Let's try it. Yes. A, ca- a karate tournament he can't reschedule, a.k.a. let me redo that. Tommy can't go because he has a karate tournament he can't reschedule, a.k.a. dump his ass because he ain't worth your time. So, ladies and gentlemen, if a man says he needs his appendix removed, but you're all set for a romantic walk on the beach, big brimmed hat, sundress and all, dump his ass. That's a deal breaker, ladies. Yeah, you better believe. Oh, he saw a ghost from his past in a dream he had, so he's got to hightail it to therapy. But you want to watch Downtown Abbey? You dump his ass. If he says he's got to go to his you mean pop, the pop's conjuring. funeral. What? No, Downtown. At downtown. Downtown. If I he thought says it was Downton. Downtown, baby. Ooh, where the girls is pretty. I thought it was Danton. <laughs> I thought it was Dayton. I thought it was Ted Danson. <laughs> Ooh, Ted Danson, Abby. If he says he's got to go to his pop pup's funeral, but you're uh, over there jonesing some, for some cheesecake factory, dump his ass. But slash forward, as in a slasher forwarding an email about a spooky well girl, Rita Repulsive sees the teens. Sexy as all hell, by the way, arguing about this trick or treat show. And she says, this gives me an idea to which Goldar says, oh, five steps ahead of you, baby. I know exactly where you're going. Like your words are a roadmap and your idea is at the end of a scenic trip across these here noble, hardworking, well endowed United States of America, the pumpkin wrapper. You could give a million monkeys typewriters and none of them would type that three word combo unless they were very, very into MySpace horrorcore rap in 2007. But the gang is at freaking trick or treat dressed up as three dandies thespians. Well, the ladies of the group are Disney's Beauty and the Beast. Uh... I'm only four minutes into the episode, and uh, that includes the very long theme song, so we're just going to flash-eating zombie forward. Those are zombies that only eat Flash, Kid Flash, and TMs containing the Pokemon skill Flash. Oh, man, you guys got to get on Pokemon Go and teach a TM to some boy. Guys, what's your favorite TM? Maybe swim, maybe cut, maybe surf. It was cut. Smash, I think it was. Rock Smash, the one that allowed you to be able to maneuver. Through the things. Nice. Did you say cucked? Yeah, those were crucial because there were things hiding behind the bushes. I remember that. I'm sorry, did you say cucked? (laughs) Yeah, I thought you said... Oh, I thought... (laughs) No. I I thought Nicole said cucked. I thought she said cut. Okay. I thought as a joke... (laughs) I said C-U-T. Ooh. That makes my genuine response even worse. C-U-T? More like C-U-T-T. My teeth. They're so long again. AK-47 bullets. That's so fucked up because now it's like you're like... Mine is cucked, and it's like, that's true, because the best stuff is hiding behind the bushes. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Guys, cuck a dude behind a bush. God fucking damn it. But of course, if they're there without your knowledge, they're not being cucked. They're just being peeping to tommed. That's just infidelity, isn't it? What? If you're fucking their wife without their knowledge. No, well, if someone's watching. Yeah, if, oh. if you're in the corner, Rustin Parr style, just jacking it to some your wife or husband doing it with someone else, which is called a queen cuck, if it's the lady being cucked. 
Oh. You guys got to get on Pornhub search terms yeah. so you can figure out what has the best tags. So when you finally start jacking off in front of a camera, you get all them hits, baby. Oh, okay. Pokemon's very informative. Yeah, guys, get a friggin' TM that says cucked. <laughs> guys, if you have a Pokemon and name them cucked, please screenshot it. We'll we'll retweet it <laughs> and shout you out on the pod. That's a that's the, we should be doing that. But where was I? They're at the game show that's pagan themed with a vampire host who flosses his teeth mid filming like an unprofessional ball of bile and disgust. I'd call him white trash, but this dude is pale trash because he's a vampire. But we see Tommy in a tank top, much like the ones Mason Ocharzak would wear while skateboarding, who is battling putties in a pumpkin patch shit. That's an ICP song if I've ever heard one, but of course, putties would be slang for puss in their song. But they would also use nedin because for some reason, n- vagina is nedin in their slang terminology, guys. Gotta get up on the nedin game. Great Malenko. Uh, we're almost done, guys. However, Zordon is a good dad and says, Tommy, I got this. Go to your punch and recital. Back at the show, they're searching for bugs, and Skull gets a thick layer of goo all over his sittable face. He wins by default because you contractually have to win if a show PA nuts on you. But then some candy-ass pumpkin rapper comes out spitting some fucking Houdini-type rhymes, and that's where the episode is done for me. In the end, we learn if you don't know the final Jeopardy question, well, that long-ass bed of music is playing go bed a pa jerk off style rinse off lather and repeat for the following night car ranger i mean this is just power ranger right uh, yeah but i we're currently doing car ranger in the main feed so uh, you boys got to say to car ranger word <laughs> shout outs to okay. car ranger look guys i have a, a mustache with the microphone cord that's gomez-esque gomez Ooh. adam Oh, he's so scary. They're kooky crazy. Yeah, I wish they'd just be insane. Like, I wish there was like a rated R Adam's Family thing. I feel like it would be good enough at this point. Like, why can't they just do that at this point? Why can't just everything be rated R? Yeah, fuck them kids. I don't mean like that. I don't want a fucking rated R like Care Bears or something. But like, they're about terror and death and all this stuff. But it's always like inferred and kookiness. But like that's why it's cool though, is because like most of that stuff isn't for kids, and that's one of the very few things that is for kids. True, they should make. And one that's for why adults. so many people are like obsessed with Nightmare Before Christmas because it's also one of those very few things. Yeah, and I don't want that. That's to be dark crazy. like that. But I, I just feel like that's it's okay ran its kids. course with the not like Nightmare Before Christmas. The best thing it did was stop. You're just saying like, there's too many remakes. Yeah, because the 90s one, I get it at that point. And like, yeah. even the 60s one, I got it at that point because that was just the fucking monsters. Anyways, we already yeah. had stuff like that and standards and practices kept it from doing shit. But at this point, why are you, if you're not going to do something else, like, why are we doing this again? Because they can. I say, I say fucking bring Jason in there as their cousin. Do all the horrible things. I want to see the real shit that they talk about because it's like, why not at this point? But that's me. I'm sorry. I'm a kook like that. I loved the show on Fox Family. Oh my god, <laughs> it's so good. I'm not you even call joking. It Fox Family. Yeah, Damn, it, the that's, first iteration. That it was Fox Family before it became Freeform. Yeah. Well, it, it was ABC Family. I after, know. And then Freeform. <laughs> but I remember Fox Family because they had it was the best, but they had the worst shows because you could tell as a network they were trying to catch the Nickelodeon wave. But they didn't have enough animators or content beforehand to do anything. Mm-hmm. So they just took a bunch of old Canadian fucking cartoons and they just put it on there. And Canada's fucking dog. weird. I Mad was talking dog? about I was talking about Three Friends and Jerry. I think that was what it was. Three called. Friends and Jerry. Yeah, it was like it was Ed Ed and Eddie before that existed. Oh, okay. But it was super weird and offbeat because it was just weird Canadian bullshit. And it was hilarious. It, if you watched it now, I'm sure you'd be like, what the fuck is this? And that was the shit that made me laugh. Oh, you know James is going to go watch it. Oh, you better believe. Yeah. I loved Fox Family for real it, because it had Digimon in the morning. That's how I caught that episode that uh, was preemptived by 9-11 reporting on a Saturday morning, which is why I hated terrorists. Because uh, they ruined Digimon Yeah, they <laughs> because I had seen every episode until then, but then 
I remember Fox Family was showing it, and it came to that point of like, holy shit, this is around when 9-11 happened. You know I'm a post-9-11 baby. Or no, I'm a pre-9-11 You're baby. Not, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but you want to know, I love living in a time when I don't even remember 9-11. I don't know but if yeah. that's a good thing to say, but you said it. Always <laughs> forget, guys. Oh, you said that too. Just remember. Yeah, guys. Hey, I don't give a truck. I don't have a job. Uh, <laughs> can't be fired from this podcast. So yeah. this episode was great. Yeah. <laughs> this episode, I, I just want to point out that this episode really struck me as an episode they had to get together Right away because it was Halloween. And Ooh. they just realized kids Guess needed what, something friend. before they went trick-or-treating. When do you think this was aired? Oh, shit. Ha. Was this some like bullshit where it was like almost Thanksgiving by the time it got to us? No, no, no. It was like May 13th. Oh, my God. But I believe they did that because I know they did this for a Christmas episode. They aired it in like June because they knew, hey, we air it. That will give us enough time to produce VHS copies so then we can sell it around that time. So that's smart. That's smart. They really didn't try at all with this episode, which I thought was hilarious. It seemed like they had a Sentai episode that I don't even necessarily know if it was Halloween themed, if it just had a pumpkin. So the, the, I would like to explain this to yeah. you. You asked why there were no Zords. There yeah. is a very good reason for that. Zhu Ranger, which is what Mighty Morphin is based off from, at least the first season, was only, I believe, 50 or 52 episodes. Well, we're already at 54 yeah, on 54. this. They had burned through all the Sentai episodes, maybe by like episode 38 of Power Rangers. Nice. So what they had to do was what is now referred to as Zhu 2, where they contacted Toei and said, hey, we need villains that look in the style of Zhu Ranger, just make those villains send the suits to us and then we will film the footage or they might have also filmed it. So none of this was in Sentai besides like some of the, I'm pretty sure the yeah, Rita they stuff. they were redoing a bunch of things because you could see with like the putties and stuff. You can always tell when they get to the Zhu Ranger stuff because the quality of film changes. Well, the, all of that, even the putty stuff, that was not used in Zhu Ranger. But it, I think that was done over there though. It probably was. Because it just doesn't look like any of the footage here. Yeah. And that, that was always, I don't, and it's funny because I don't even think I realized that until I was like, like well past the age of like being a kid yeah. where I was like, this is not the same show I'm looking at. Mm -hmm. It was probably because I caught like some episode during in like the 2000s and I was like, why does it look like it's like 86 <laughs> during yeah. this part? Which is weird because it was only a year after Zhu Ranger was done that they started Power Rangers. I feel like they all just have not as good of special effects because they don't try to live in escape worlds like we do in America because we always just want the best type of effects for everything and even now when you look at certain productions overseas like the special effects are cool but they're not they don't hold a candle to us even though they might have as much money but it's also because sentai is 48 to 52 episodes a year yeah. so they they just don't have the time they could get a camera that doesn't look like shit. It's also a, it's a children's show, a low budget children's show. We didn't so. get a camera that looked like shit for our children's no, show. No, the, the first season, the first few episodes of Power Rangers look terrible. Oh, I'm, I'm sure, but I feel like our terrible doesn't look as terrible as their terrible does. It also could have been like the prints they were being sent because Die Ranger looks fucking great. Remember Die Ranger? How Ooh, could I forget uh, Die Ranger with the cigarette smoking Zordon? Peace and love. <laughs> So that's why there was no Zord. That's why yeah. it was just putty based, which I enjoy. Like the Zords sometimes take me out of it. I mean, it, I'm just so used to it. It's like the money shot. You need it to end the production. We sometimes got that with me. the spider. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, you're right about that, actually. So, guys, um, Skull gets bricked in the face by a spider web, but it's real milky. Yeah, he got like the full Peter North on that one. It was Ooh, crazy. Peter North is a famous porn star, Nicole. Cool. <laughs> yeah, guys, um, let's, I have so many starred notes. Go for it. I got some, too. But first, I just want to say, I forgot to say this up front, podcast juice is piss. Just want to, that's why we podcast with pee, pee in us. Just want you guys to know. But, so, what, we see. What was that about? What? Oh, <laughs> that's podcast from a, juice. we, okay, po we enough. podcast in with pee, pee in us. We started singing that in an episode once. I, I told myself I was going to let that go, but then after another point, my brain was like, I don't think you <laughs> 
I don't think you could go home not knowing what that was. We podcast him with Pippi and us. Oh, I wanted Nicole to say it too. Ooh. There you go. You guys go. I wanna. I wanna find one of my favorites. Well, I mean, first off, I wanted to point out Tommy's important karate match at the inner city. In the inner city, that was just the same set that they were on. Yeah. <laughs> they at, just cleared out everything and put a mat in. <laughs> like Ernie's Fruit Juice Bar. Yeah. Which, Nicole, that is just a spot that these kids hang out. It's, no, I read the sign says it is a gym and juice bar. Yeah. Gym and juice bar? Yeah, like Ernie's Gym and Juice Bar. Is, it was Ernie's, isn't it? No, it was Arnie? like whatever town. Oh, Angel, Angel Grove. Grove. Yeah. Ernie's just yeah. the dude who works there. His name was Ernie. I remember that. Yeah. Or Arnie. I just remember that they know. were always at that spot, but then there was just a massive pad area that one of them, because every scene was always a group of them talking, but one of them was doing the thing that they do that's athletic yeah, in like the mat there area. There isn't really any equipment or anything, and it's just weird that it's in the same fucking area as like where everyone is eating yeah. and shit. Cause I, I just wondered who brought the beam out for Kimberly because usually like Jason's having like a karate class or something or Tommy's doing his thing and then just a day like Billy will actually I don't know what the fuck do they even show Billy doing martial arts or did they just assume he nerded himself into martial art? Oh, like, I don't know competency because I I don't think I ever saw him do martial arts. He just kind of is there. I think just that suit gives you the power. No, nah, because cause Zach does martial arts, right? Doesn't he? He dances as the intro it's shows. It's dance fighting. Yeah. I could have swore they all actually took martial arts. That's weird. But in the movie, he's... No, it's the movie. Is know. that canon? Which movie? The first one. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I don't think that is canon. But yeah, I, I thought that was pretty hilarious. I really am amazed by how bad of bullies Bulk and Skull are. Just for their mindset of picking the people who would kick your ass the most efficiently. Even as teenagers. Like, why is he talking to Tommy like that? Like... Tommy, from jump, even when he was evil, Tommy was like, I beat the shit out of people. That's like my whole <laughs> life, and I'm 15. Like, they're 15, right? I We've had this conversation on a previous episode. No idea. All right. Well, let's they're 15. Say, uh, let's say, well, no, no cars. They can't. So 16. Yes. At least. At least 16. I would like to say senior year, but I know they have another one in them. Yeah. <laughs> they have <laughs> two more seasons senior. in them. Yeah. Uh, I would like to do a reading of my favorite line from this. Please. All I need one of you guys to say is something like, you better watch your back because that car is ours. It, or that car will be mine. You better watch your back because that car is going to be mine. Trick or treat. I just watched this episode. What scene was that? <laughs> That's when that there, there was that huge pause in between them saying, I, I rewound it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before the transition. Yes. <laughs> Which brings me to my next point. They're fucking transitions in this episode. I, I'm sure it's all of them, but I just haven't seen them in a while. But this mm -hmm. episode, the fact that they can talk about things and just be like, bam, Rita's place. It really shows that they knew how skittish kids were. And they were like, just change the scene. We need yeah. something. Like, uh, even when they're doing the game show. Well, I mean, like, what were you expecting? Like, a Mr. Show style, like, great transition? Just not Where they look bam. at a TV and it's a news report showing. Yo, cartoons don't do bam. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but, play. like, I know what part you're talking about. It was because that's what made me laugh so fucking hard. Was they were, like... Showing a scene of them like at the game show and then they showed Tommy like walking through the pumpkins like when these pumpkins get here and then it just switched over to Rita. Yeah, it was it's just in a it full was scene. very interesting was, how they were just, just like, like, okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that scene with Tommy and the pumpkins was literally just we have to explain the pumpkins are here <laughs> and set the scene. Yeah, he was just like, uh, it, it smells and then it just changed. <laughs> It smells. They were transitioning a lot, like especially you can. I, I pointed this out during Die Ranger too, but you can see it here. Like you can see, it's almost like they have a clock where they're timing what they think are kids' attention spans. Because during the game show scene, it's like they're doing this game show, they're setting the rules, and then immediately they're like, "All right, this is too fucking long. Get Tommy huh? in here. We got to get some fights. Get something." <laughs> and then they're like, "Oh yeah, we're, we're it's starting to cook up, but it's getting boring. Have her faint." fall into the fog which there was so much fog in that those fog machines were it was pumping out like 
I've never seen fog before, like a flamethrower, as you just did. Yes. Well, because their their Kim Possible pagers went off, so she was like, oh, fuck, how do I get out of this? Which, did they go off? I don't remember them going off. I just remember them being like, hey. Like Zordon insinuating, like, we need to call the Rangers, and then just yeah. all of it, maybe it was lost in the festivities of this game show. Maybe they had it on vibrate. Oh, man, you better believe I'm always on vibrate when Zordon's calling me. I'm like, oh, no. I definitely, because you touched on this while we were watching it, too, about how long it might take them to find a part where, like, Rita says something that seems like it's right. It made me think, because their first scene in particular at Rita's place, it was almost Speed Racer-esque, the way they were talking. Like, oh you must find them. And, like, I always wondered, it hit me for the first time as an adult, like, were they doing that? to sync with Japanese words to make it sound like they were speaking English, but with the same like mouth movements. Yes. Mm-hmm. Cause I, I n- it never, cause I was always like, why do they talk like that? And I was like, that's why they were trying to sync American <laughs> English with Japanese. Yeah. Wow. But it's also because they couldn't use chunks of footage because then kids might notice like, I saw this. I know I saw this. So they just had to like, get little bits and pieces this, like whoever was editing this show should have won an Emmy yeah it would have been daytime who cares but they still should have won an Emmy yeah. I also want to take a moment to point out that while zombies and witches and demons are scary nothing is more scary than ignorance people it's not American it's English please say English and I'm sorry I said American don't be ignorant wait did I say American I said it oh, okay. I was saying put American over <laughs> Japanese <laughs> words and that's the last thing I want to do. You don't want to teach the kids that. No, no, no. Mama said no, I mean, that's no, like no. 90% of our audience. Kids? It's children, yes. Yeah, yeah, of course. They love it, love it when we talk about piss exclusively with a guest we had only met a couple times. And Peter North. Oh, yeah. Kids, kids. get those references. I'm going to, yeah, I was going to let you say kids love Peter North because I didn't want to say it. Oh, but I just no. did. So Uh-oh. I did say that. Isolated those it's vocals. Boy in North, baby. Oh. Is that why? I don't fucking know. I don't even know who that is. <laughs> How many Peter North videos have you just busted to? I mean, when I was younger, probably quite a few because there wasn't that vast of a library. Countless. Of porn. Um, okay, I have a couple questions. Yes, my love. First loves. of all, so is there a Sentai episode with the pumpkin wrapper. No, it's Zhu 2. Okay. It was made exclusively for this. That's disappointing. Oh, yeah. It, like, this would have been fucking great. Yeah, I have to be honest. I, I never would have guessed that that wasn't a real Sentai episode. Yeah. I thought that... I really thought that it was a Sentai episode that really had nothing to do with Halloween, so they couldn't use most of it. And that's what I thought the thing was. But that's actually kind of impressive to me that yeah. they just kind of threw that shit out there. Mm-hmm. And I don't know, Did I feel like I missed something because I'm like, they literally just said not to do that. Okay, so they are like in the whatever secret base or Command whatever, center. like getting briefed on what's going on. And they, spe- like Alpha and the floating head, literally tell them, hey, the pumpkins will go onto your head and make it so you cannot see and you cannot breathe. What is the first fucking thing they do when they get to the pumpkin They patch? pick them up and practically kiss them with their helmet lips. That's so true. Why? <laughs> they might not have understood how it happens, which is uh, teleportation. How did they get out of that again? Because I thought it was a fucking Kimberly rap. slashes it with her uh, little gun blade. She slashed all of them? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, then, fair enough. Also, they're in a suit. They can breathe. They don't have like little nose holes in those masks. Damn. Now I feel dumb because I was really like, oh, well, they can't fucking breathe. No. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I, I bought into it, man. I bought into that. I was like, they're going to die. Oh, my God. And I was like, good. You guys are fucking stupid. <laughs> I think their suits do photosynthesis and it injects just when the sun falls down on it, it goes into their suit and it gets oxygen. Okay, man. <laughs> you're you're. Feed me bullshit here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> feed me bullshit here. Here comes the aeroplane of bullshit. <laughs> Open I mean, wide. I know these things come from a power grid. They don't say anything about like a the biodegradable grid. like aspects of it that allow it to 
work on your skin. It should, though. Yeah, that would actually be pretty good. They should put that in the sequel. Yeah, photosynthesis. Yeah. Yeah, because, you know, people are basically plants. Yeah, right? We got chlorophyll. That sounds like an ICP song. People uh, are basically plants. It could be. <laughs> yeah. it's the, And it's just pretty much the plot of Little Shop of Horrors. Oh, okay. Wait, my next note. Yes. Is they introduced a pumpkin rapper. Like, his main thing is that he will distract you. That is his evil power. But distract with what? Tricks and rhymes. No, clever raps and oh, rhymes. Oh, yes, 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 yeah, yes. The yes. fact that Zordon gave that to them dead serious, like that was like that was a stat next to him, was amazing to me. Can you tell the audience word for word <laughs> what you exclaimed when he said, I'll say it. The pumpkin rapper will distract you with clever raps and rhymes. <laughs> Nigga, what? Because <laughs> I was writing a note and I really only was listening to him brief them. And when that came out, it was such an epiphany because you kept this a secret to me, which I'm very happy. I couldn't be more happy that you kept it a secret. Ooh. And in that moment, it all came together and hit me. And that was the only thing I could exclaim because... I just couldn't believe it. <laughs> that, that was incredible. Hit you like a bag of bricks. That's what I wanted Nic everyone. Or like a wrecking ball. Oh, hit you like a wreck. But Nicole's, I wanted her name to be, my name's Nickel. Brain you with a brick, Jacus. That's what I wanted her scary name to be. And she said, no, that's practically just murder, James. I was like, that's not spooky. That's uh, just Murder. Blood and Murder's guts. Spooky. Yeah, it's spooky oh. because that creates ghosts and that's what haunts <laughs> me at night. I had a dream last night. I haven't told you about this, but I was listening to a, an unreleased song by... Uh, Inya? By, what? Inya? I don't know who that is. Okay. Uh, Dido? <laughs> uh, by <Bjork>? this... <laughs> yeah. No, by this rapper Elbow. He's from Coldwater, Michigan, and so. it's called Way Down. I'll put a clip in it right now. Because the truth to me the only one I know And I'm a key Born walking to the end of my road So go away But I get you on that way And when I was listening to that in my dream I was in my Nena's bathroom Which for some reason her toilet was very long so I had to like sit on the edge of it. It was like me pooping in like a little pool. And uh, <laughs> except I don't poop. I was just peeing, guys. If I were to poop, I would have been pooping. So you were in sitting it. and peeing? Yes. But the, the water was hot, like scalding hot. So I was like. Scalding. Uh, yeah, scalding. Uh, so I was very afraid to sit my little butt down on it. Also, there was not a toilet. It was just the brim. And there was no toilet no seat that tushy. big. That's gross. What if someone peed on it? I will. And also, there were like. Horrorcore rappers that I knew, like knocking on the door. Also, before this, there for some reason, I in this dream, I had a mixtape where it was an album where it was Snoop Dogg and Tracy Morgan like collabed on a full album. But people are like, God, Tracy Morgan was just an ass during the recording. But I turn on this song way down and I start bawling hysterically. And to the point where, but no one, my nene, my mom, even Nicole, no one had like come to the bathroom and be, been like, hey, James, what's wrong? Clearly something's up. Why, why is this song hit you so hard? I'm not doing well, guys. Oh, I thought you were going to say the dude was dead. No, I was just that a was. spooktacular dream? No, it's just sad. I don't think it's sad. You don't know why you're crying. Maybe it was a happy cry. I also have some revelations that I need to talk to Nicole about in private. It's because... a long toilet. You don't know. That's a lot of representation. You put your shit into a long thing. Isn't that something? I don't know. Could that count as a creek? An it, artificial creek? It's something. A creek? What classifies a creek? Like, aren't there... A small stream. A in toilet that flushes that's in long? That's like a creek then. Okay, yeah, guys. A frog was there too. We'll, we'll retcon this whole thing. Some lily pads... You better believe I was skipping rocks. The point is, you should ignore your mental health and tuck it deep down inside and yeah, keep guys. acting happy for the people that make you happy. Only let it out when you take a shit. You want to hear a revelation that- Or in public. I, I, <laughs> I, I once had- uh, This is- I might have to cut because this is something I should just be talking to Nicole about. I believe- cool, cool, You cool, can cool. talk to her about it if you want. I, a b****er I know, I wouldn't classify it when I was young as- but I know cool, a cool, cool, uh, like cool. a I know for a fact was very 
with me. You can and definitely I've, talk to Nicole about this. Because I came to realize, like, oh, these it's not a dream I had. I'm confident this actually happened. And, oh, Nicole, uh, if you ever want to talk to me about this, it might be beneficial. I mean, that's up to you, man. Yeah, guys. I'm not going to force you to... That's all you. So those putty suits, like yeah, you said, guys, were really good. Ooh, they were velour track suit crazy onesies. Crazy putty suits. You better believe some of so that stuff's getting bleeped. Were those our in-house putty suits? I think they were. Okay. Because the original putty suits were just spandex. Yeah. It was straight like that. I mean, yeah, I was trying to figure that out, but I couldn't remember if they had putties during the Die Rangers that I saw. No, no, no. They were Copatoportors. Co- co- yeah, they, they're, I don't know <laughs> what you said, but like they're way, they put a lot... Die Ranger just put a lot more thought into everything. Yeah, baby. Especially now that I realize that, like, how long were they getting off on the putty thing, like, for us? And, like, they seem to really, I don't know, the care well, is just Even different. into Lord Zed, they were still using putties. They just made them beefed up, like, w- with, like, extra armor on. But then they exploded, and that was kind of awesome. Oh, Because putties just kind of, they changed the scene and they were gone. But, like, you got to see Lord Zed's people, like, explode. And I remember as a kid being like, yo, I like these way okay, better. Okay, damn. <laughs> like, they would, like, dismember explode. Remember? Like, they would all, like, their arms would go everywhere as soon as you hit the Z. Oh, yeah. Because that yes. was a thing. When they first showed up, they were beating the shit out of all of them because they didn't realize that they could just beat the shit out of them like the old putties. They would keep coming back. So they just had to hit the Z and then they would explode. <laughs> I was like, this is awesome. Yeah, I do remember that. Yeah. We need to get you back on very soon for Car Ranger because the, like, I'm I'm disappointed that we d- I love that we did this Halloween because it's Halloween spooky scary. But yeah. I want you to see Car Ranger. Look, I after this, I have faith in every episode that you show yeah. me. So I'm down. Nicole, you got any more notes? It I seems have a like question. A, yeah, what's up? Mwah. That I've been waiting to ask. Do the other Rangers have their own theme song? No. I ju- It's only green and it's only when he becomes white he has as well. Yes, the white power was real with this and they wanted to... <laughs> Look, <laughs> it's real. Even when he was green, they tried to make it seem like... Because in this episode, it was the same thing that I remember as a kid. They used to solve things as a group. And then maybe Jason would come through in the 11th hour. But once Tommy showed up, and I really think it was driven by sales because kids flocked to him like crazy. They made them complete. Like, remember when I asked like about the red guy when they were fighting Jin? I was like, are these guys just fucking worthless or do they get their own episodes? And you're like, yeah, they each get an episode. Power Rangers don't get their own episodes. It's always Tommy saves them after they get their ass kicked. Like, yeah. that's always. And fuck? when they wanted to show how bad a guy was, then they'd let him beat Tommy for a second. Okay. That was the only way you knew the stakes were high in Power Rangers anymore. It was so bad that I remember as a kid, they had like a Power Rangers fighting game. And it wasn't even a real game with cutscenes, mm-hmm. but they added the cutscene of Tommy <laughs> shitting on Jason <laughs> so you knew who the fuck Tommy was by the end of it. Because I think he was like the final boss or something in it or something like that. They're like, who, don't Tommy? you fucking Yeah, because it was a fighting game. Oh, so like, okay, yeah. when he shows up, it's like, hey, I'm J-. even if you were Kimberly, it would be like, hey, I'm Jason. And you'd be like, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> because he technically was evil at a time. Oh, he was. The, that was the first like real because power. Power Rangers as a kid, I remember that was like the first one I was like really connecting to as like a kid's show because I thought kids show were fucking stupid in my my parents. My mom would always like have me watching adult things and would just explain them to me as a mm-hmm. kid. So kids shows largely didn't get a to lot me. of Kojak more Matlock and Ooh. shit like that and like movies probably because SVU. she wasn't trying to fuck with kids movies. So she was oh, just like, yeah, yeah. I'll just teach him that this shit isn't real and he should know that. And mm-hmm. Power Rangers was the only thing that I really kind of looped onto. And Tommy was the first villain where I was like, I, it was real stakes. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? And then when he became normal, I kind of didn't like him because I hate leader archetypes. Yeah. Like I hate Luke King. I hate Ryu. I hate every guy that is the best because the story says I am. Yeah. Because they're always the least interesting. What the fuck did Tommy do other than not bang Kimberly until he was allowed to. And which might be why you like Die Ranger so much. Yeah, those guys do things. They have lives. They like you saw in this episode, like what were any of the other Rangers doing at any point? Game show. Gymnastics. 
That is true, but that's Fashion. Kimberly. Kimberly's Tommy's other half. Like in Die Ranger, Homeboy was trying to mack on a girl. You saw dudes boxing, and it was a boxing episode around the boxing. Like there was a lot of cool stuff. I remember Zach had an episode what was like the Black Knight because I had that VHS, and it was just like, oh, a, now that I think about it, it's probably not good because it was like, oh, a black villain, and it's just a knight that's all black yeah. against the Black Ranger, which that's a Zhu Ranger. That is the plot of that episode. That is, he's a black dude, and it's no, black no, on black no, crime? No, no, And violence? For no, everyone it's, to enjoy. it's a Japanese man <laughs> who is the black ranger having yeah. to fight this black knight. Yeah, because I Because everything in Zhu Ranger, I believe, is like fairy tale based. Mm. All, the, all the monsters and stuff. I wish I could see that black knight thing just to see how they made that make sense. Because... I remember as a kid, I only liked that just because of the music video, because the music in this show still is fucking awesome. Yeah. I, I remember that, because it's fucking Buckethead, Slash. No, it's... Buckethead did the guitars for some of that. He did? Yeah. That's like a real thing. Oh, hold on. Because one time you said, I believe you were the one who said, yeah, man, one of the Power Rangers was in a porno, which he was that not. That was not me. Uh, no, I'm confident you said that. Who did I say... No, Tommy was in Undressed, and that was like MTV's clean porno show. No, you said one of the Red Ranger. Oh, maybe it wasn't you. That was not me. Okay, but let's I see. I never give a fuck about Red Rangers. Just type in Bucket Power, Power Rangers. Rangers. Oh, man, it came up. You guys talk other notes. I, I did find Tommy's fighting pretty hilarious. He's really intense. You could tell. It really feels like he's the only one that actually knew martial arts on that show. Mm -hmm. Like, maybe they got gym that, gymnasts and stuff like that, but mm -hmm. his fighting is... He can fight, but it's amazing how stupid they make him fight with those kicks. How many did he do during He that? missed like 20 kicks. And, he was just, and I could tell the director was just like, I love it. Keep going. This is fucking great. It's beautiful. It's poetic. It's beauty. Your art in motion. Keep going. Let me get, how many more can you get out of us? Come on, man. And it, it's so weird seeing him fight, but I have to be honest that he he is an entertaining fighting character like on Power Rangers and I don't recall many of them being as like intense as he was. Mm -hmm. And I think that was kind of his thing. But he was feeling the juice of being loved by kids. So I'm sure that actor was like in his zone. Okay, so rumors were that he did the solo on the Power Rangers theme song. That is not true. He did, though, perform a solo on a song called Firebird, which that did appear on the Mighty Morphin Powers Rangers soundtrack. So I don't even think it was like, this was uh, made for See, I thought Power he Rangers. did We Need a Hero. I wasn't even thinking about the Power Rangers one. I, I remember that one, and I thought he did the guitar on that. But whatever, he was still involved. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> that was at buycostumes.com, so it was a Halloween website. It's spooky. Cite your sources. Buy costumes? I yeah, don't know. guys. Who, who's funding that? Uh, they did say, like, click here to, like, go to his discography <laughs> and the specific song. Yeah. Uh, let's get a couple more notes in, and then we'll wrap it up. I also feel like all those people at that karate convention or tournament was recital all their, recital i think all those guys were their stuntmen i Could thought especially homeboy who was the one dude that you saw to know it was a real tournament <laughs> i was like that is probably tommy or billy's real guy even though billy billy is real i keep saying that but he was doing some mad flips during the movie so billy is real with martial arts or at least gymnastics did you notice in that karate recital scene when they called Tommy's name, you see someone just like a hand from the other side of the screen push back people to be like, oh, yeah, let him come through. He starts coming through. And then when he walks back, that same hand pushes them back. And it's like, was JDF like, I don't want anyone touching Skeen with me. I feel like that was probably extras fucking up the shot. Oh, yeah, it could have been yeah. that too. And then, and then, you know, especially during that time when they weren't. I hate it because I sound like I'm so smart in film, but I'm really not. Mm -hmm. But like when they were not using like many digital things, like running a camera is such a waste of money. Yeah. Especially on a show like that where they're trying to be economical. I'm sure they're like, you're not going to fuck this up again. So they're like, put somebody in to guide mm -hmm. them if need be. Yeah. Because again, I'm sure all those people were stuntmen or I couldn't imagine them really taking extra casting seriously. So I'm sure none of those people really had a lot of training in how to like be in a scene. Or they were PAs. Exactly. Things like yeah. that. Which you I, gotta jerk off a PA, guys. I've definitely fucked up. I've, I've probably, like, there was one time where I'm sure I wasted a shit ton of film 
because it was for the Beastie Boys, Fight for Your Night Revisited, and I was an extra on that, but I was in a scene with David Cross. I was totally cut out of it, but there's a scene where it's supposed to zoom in on him, and I'm supposed to walk into the street, and they didn't say anything, so I just kept, I was literally in front of him, <laughs> and the care was waiting for me to leave, and I'm like, I just wonder how much money I fucking <laughs> wasted. <laughs> it's all digital, you're fine. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, I actually had a lot. Uh, the pumpkin wraps were pretty fucking whack, but I appreciate them. And I, I want to know who that voice actor was because it sounded very familiar. I'll check it. It sounded real familiar. In that. I asked if it was Brian Cranston in, in Jest, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if that was like somebody who definitely does voice work for like Nickelodeon or something at this point because I feel like I knew that voice right away when I heard it. There is a pumpkin wrapper pop figure, which is super cool. What? Yeah. I need it. I cannot believe that. Well, actually, sure I can. Also, that game show had the worst premise ever. Like, oh, you just yeah, ask a question sure. and you can just you stump me and you win. And it's like, what if I asked you the meaning of life? Like, what if I asked you so many things about quantum physics? Like, what, you can ask any. I don't have to know the answer, right? Yeah. And I mean, well, I was thinking, like, what if you were like, what's my favorite color? And they're like, blue. You could just lie. Yeah, because he did ask what was my best friend's name. Yeah. Like, what kind of stupid... It was just weird. Plus, why would Kimberly just bust out the Power Ranger thing like that? Like, try to be less goddamn obvious all the time. Like, oh, I bet you can't tell who the Power Rangers are. I don't know, is it you with all your color-coded friends right there? I don't know. <laughs> you guys seem to wear those colors all the time. Oh, I live in this shit. goddamn city. This dude is just in insanely amount of anime it's okay. like all tons of digimon sailor moon and just every anime you could yeah. think of because i, I just knew it. the voice from somewhere so he's probably been some goddamn little monster or something mm -hmm. and because he was saban related he was also in like mast rider beetleborgs digimon beetleborgs was my i feel like no one gives beetleborgs love anymore but i'm it's sure it's not good <laughs> yo it's man not. yo you need to chill right now no no rewatch it it's yo man not you need to good. chill right now because that was real to me like that was the only power ranger-esque thing that i actually got into like power rangers because i tried them all i tried i remember vr troopers was the big one that was the closest probably in the public eye that got to it but i fucking hated that thought it was lame uh, they had another one actually i'm sure that common rider guy was the closest to power yeah. ranger for most people that well, people liked. I love Beetleborgs when it came out, but I try to rewatch it or don't rewatch it. Don't rewatch it. Re I remember it. they had the Elvis <laughs> ghost and shit. It yeah. was weird. But I know the one that killed it all was Mystic Knights. I, I'll always remember the name because even as a kid, I saw that and I was like, I think I'm done with all of this. Now. No, actually, that had a, an insanely good ratings. Holy fuck. But Are you kidding when me? When they had season two, they were like, no, let's put all of the budget into Power Rangers Galaxy, I believe. Better and, choice. And they just said, well, we're, we if we put all this money into there, we can't do a season two, even though I had so very good. So it just stops? Yep. Man, That's I just, stupid. I can't believe people really like this show. It looks so fucking dumb. It, I've I gave seen it one episode. clips and I'm like, yeah, I would have loved this as a kid. All I remember is <laughs> them like in like the woods in California yeah, with yeah. swords, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> clinking them together dope. and morphing <laughs> I don't even remember what the knights look like. I just remember as a kid being like, this is dumb as fuck. That's my stuff. I love medieval shit. Uh, I can't stand it. I, I just deleted The Witcher 3 because I can't fucking take it. And that game is revolutionary. People love it. But I was just like, I fucking hate all of this. The Rangers rap cipher over the pumpkin. Oh, to yeah. Conjure it's so spirit fucking dope. Was... I mean, not dope. So mm. fucking dumb. Yeah. Oh, wait. I actually have. Okay. So his whole thing is that he raps to distract them but he like raps and then does a thing you know what i mean like he isn't like trying to fight them and rapping at the same time hey when i'm on stage if you're telling me to move and also recite lines that i still don't know even though i wrote them and rehearsed them many many times <laughs> you got another thing coming I'm just saying, like, that's his whole thing. That You can't do misdirection if you stop after you do the misdirection. Yeah. By, like, you can't be over here but trying to do something and then stop and then try to steal exactly. someone's wallet. <laughs> I guess also if I had as basic a rhymes as he does, uh, I, could probably, uh, I could probably do this. I mean, I think you could bust out some pumpkin wraps if you wanted to. 
I did like one of his, he's like, uh, you're first on the block to get a mega pumpkin chalk. And it was like, he was fumbling over lines, guys. I just love it. You got to love that production stuff because they threw in like the cornball, like rap beat for him too. And th- it just had to be so fun during that time to like come up with that bullshit and then hand it to the actors and like see them have to <laughs> yeah. say that shit. But still, uh, I, in the episode summary, it was going to end with, and in the end, we learn that if you're writing on any TV show, just hire a real rapper to write that. You can find one very cheap. Ooh, guys, if you need someone, I'll do it for $30. Yeah. But it's also like, it's not like they were, I mean, it's a voiceover, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it's not like he was like in the costume and shit doing that. Like they were just in a studio and did that bad. I mean, it was yeah. still bad. <laughs> it was great though. Yeah. I mean, or you can just bullshit it like Power Rangers and Lynn Miranda did. Yeah, I said it. What? Yeah, he said it. Oh, Lynn Manuel? Oh, is it not Miranda? Was yeah, that... it's Lynn Manuel Miranda. What oh, do you I don't mean give a bullshitting fuck about his it? Middle name? Fuck. Yeah. Dude, come on. Hamilton's dope. Oh my god. Get the <laughs> fuck out of here with this edutainment bullshit. No, no, no. Hold on, Yo. hold on, hold on. I've said it on this podcast before. This is the last thing we say and then we'll wrap things up. I wrap. tried Yeah. I tried listening to Hamilton maybe 10 times Uh, and that first 1776 new york click nope nope can't do this this is just broadway rap this is so bad and but everyone on podcasts were like it's amazing it's so good you have to listen to it so i kept going then i eventually just said fuck it i'm going to buy it i will put it on the work computer i will just play it and then boom the only thing (laughs) i listened to for six months look all those actors are very talented and the singing parts are glorious. They harmonize, they hit their notes perfectly. Lynn Manuel Miranda cannot rap. Yes, I, he can. I, he is he is garbage. I, garbage. No, no, no. One he thing is you, high class trash hold on. on the streets no, that, of <laughs> Brooklyn, the gentrified Brooklyn in New York. It's trash. Have you ever seen his listen, college humor? Intern I, rap. I, I watched his real rap video with Nas, and Hold I was on. like, Nas, you suck for doing this, and I think you're great. And I just, I'm so sick of trying to hold my tongue because I'm friends with so many theater kids who love this shit and want to feel good because they like something that's vaguely urban with fucking quotation marks. But this bullshit edutainment, I'm rapping because I'm fucking Andrew Jackson is bullshit. Like, I hate... Hold on. I, I, I'm i playing this right now. Encyclopedia Browns. Now, I don't want to piss on every superficial issue with you and rip you apart like tissue. It's easy to diss you. Your father's a highly accomplished gynecologist from a family of doctors, so it's obvious the problem is that you went into comedy. So now your mama thinks you're just a waste of space, you f***ing solipsistic pile of s***. I, I just want to... It's good. I just want to let people. I'm gonna take down the despicuous. I'm I'm gonna. I'm gonna take down the despicuous imposter personality and be Nick for a second, so people just hear this and learn something about me. Which is, there's nothing more I hate than comedy rap, and comedy rap battles make my soul disintegrate. Oh, normally I don't like it, but you know, there's good ones. No, there's not. Lonely Island. Real rap battles. Oh, but are the only things you should probably actually do. And there's these fucking Hoodie Allen, all these guys. I know you love them probably. And uh, I'm no, I, I he's fucking, fine. I, I think all of them are trash and I'm glad it died out. Whatever thing that they were doing, I'm glad it's gone. But you don't even like Lonely Island? No. Oh, whoa. No, I think they're all stupid and it's an insult because there are real rappers who are humorous in a way that can be fun and good. And not because they're black. Eminem is one of the big ones, and his faux Eminem bullshit, his astronomical, hypocritical, like, oh, I'm surgical with the knowledge, like, fuck out of my face. I fucking hate all of that, and his stupid show is dumb, and it should be performed for seventh graders on their weekends when they have, like, lower and, like, shorter school days, because for Broadway... I, I'm sorry. I'm not even a Broadway snob, and Hamilton's success is insulting to me. Dang. Got He's him. heating on us. I, I, I hate it with a passion, and I'm glad I could put it in this forum with people I I feel comfortable with. Yeah, and, but it's good, guys. <laughs> Listen to it. Fuck your presidential raps. <laughs> I hate all of them. I will say, to be like a median thing, 
I do enjoy listening to it when James is listening to it, but we also went to see the play. You don't need to see the play. Just yeah. listen to the soundtrack. Yeah, the soundtrack is, I even think the same thing. Listen to the soundtrack. It's so much better than going and spending a deal of money to go see it. I think I think the whole thing is a big publicity stunt. I think it's stupid, and I think they get over on the fact that they use minorities in traditionally old white people roles so people feel good about themselves. And that doesn't make something great just because they made a decision like that. It's good storytelling. There's a black dude good. in Night of the Living Dead, one of the most incredible fucking horror movies and foundational ones and you ask Robert whatever the fuck his name is why he did it and he's like he was the best one we had who gives a shit who gives a shit if you put a dude in traditional white part Shaft should have been white it was supposed to be white do you get a fucking cookie for that no you don't it just happened Shaft was supposed to be white yeah we, Shaft we don't need to, no, to be a white character we don't need to get onto this all right I'm not uh, even talking about that I'm just saying it was a publicity stunt and the raps are whack okay guys that pumpkin I enjoy way more than Hamilton. Well, and okay, I'll say Th- that's it. that's you just being a hipster <laughs> a right lie. now. Yeah, <laughs> that's a fucking lie. It was salt. There's some salt in that one, but no. I'll let it lie. Oh, oh, I thought you were saying like for some reason, man, that mm-hmm. pumpkin rappers, he's got some salt in those rhymes. I was like, I don't <laughs> even know what you're saying. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna start saying that now though. He's like, man, salt in there. He's salty as fuck. Yo, I hope salty I salty sea. That's the only time I really Ooh. hope I just completely get signed and get famous as a rapper so I can make. There's salt in that as like my phrase. That'd be Just, great. You record music. You can yeah. make that your no, but phrase like, already. But it's easier to do it when you're already famous. Like E40, his lingo got famous because Snoop Dogg was way more famous. And like that was the key. So I would love to just spread horrible lingo <laughs> and put it into like the DNA of our society. That'd be great. Let's me. do it up, guys. But we're, it's time to wrap it up, yeah. Nikki Let's Jaker. do it up, guys. But indeed. Have you listened to any of our Car Ranger episodes? <laughs> uh, I have not, but I will. Uh, well, he's in for a treat then. We end with improv now. All right. So <laughs> uh, t- what, give us a word and we'll start an improv. Um, intrinsically. Intr- no, it has to be like an object. Ob- like give us a, Yes, give us a noun. Oh. Okay, Mr. Quark. Linman, what Quark? Quark. What? You know, the little microscopic... All right, picture. There you go. Picture. A picture. A picture. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Man, people at improv shows must fucking hate you. Yeah, that's good, because I hate improv, too. <laughs> oh, well, guess what? You're doing it. Yeah, I'm excited. All right. You ordered the tea, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. Uh, you, too? You ordered the tea? You're at the same table. I mean, just because I'm at the same table. I'm not really a tea guy. I got coffee. Okay, I just I just needed to know who to pour out the tea to. Okay. Uh, can you flip your glass, ma'am? Yep, here you go. Oh, yeah, here's that tea. Thank Am I you? supposed to say no, something? No, here's, the, and you want some more tea? I got coffee. No, the specials today, don't try them, because the cook, he's a little hungover. I'm spilling the tea everywhere. Okay. Are there rules? We won't Isn't there then? supposed to be a rule? <laughs> a rule of what? Of improv. Spilling the tea? The... Well, yes, but. Are you the cook? No. Then why are you spilling tea everywhere? No, I'm sp- I'm s- sipping the tea, spilling it too. The please phrase? don't drink my tea. No, my you guys have never heard that phrase. Can what I get my phrase? coffee? S- uh, sh- spilling the tea, sipping the tea like Kermit the that Frog. That is not a phrase, ma'am. I would like you to settle down. That's not. Afraid. You want to know how everyone just thinks they can be so rude to their service employees, but uh-huh. I'm setting my foot down. I don't care if I get fired. I'm standing up for the phrase sipping and spilling the tea. <laughs> That's great. Can I have my coffee, though? Yeah. You want your coffee? How about you have it cold and made from tea leaves? That's... <laughs> You know, that's very rude yourself. You know, maybe I would be a lot nicer if I had caffeine in my system. You know, it's okay. a drug, right? I mean, maybe they just don't know what tea or coffee is. <laughs> Who are you saying? Me? Yeah. Thank you for using they, them. And You're yeah, welcome? I don't know what coffee is. Sue me. This is my first day on the job. Everyone's been asking for it. I'm just giving them this tea juice. You work in a coffee shop. It is <laughs> coffee bean and tea leaf. <laughs> 
All I saw was tea leaf. I know tea. Coffee came first. It's not a manga. You don't read the last thing first. Okay, what came first, the coffee or the tea? Who knows? Maybe I just had half of my despectables on. I have the 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 half glasses on my face. That doesn't make you see a different side. I only see half of the world. <laughs> Okay. I mean, you could argue that you thought it was like coffee bean leaf and tea leaf. So they just combined it, coffee bean and tea leaf. She's giving you an argument. I just want my (laughs) coffee. Okay. (laughs) Let me go over. Is it this white stuff in a jar? No. That's the jizz. This is also a sex cafe. Oh. Again, did not know that. It was coffee bean and tea leaf in quotes. We getting that shit on. I just thought, like, yeah, we get that shit on. That's a term like sipping and spilling the tea. Look, I just want my coffee, man. Okay. Could it be this other white stuff? No, that is also my jizz. My girlfriend's in the bathroom. Your your jizz? Yes, she needs it for her coffee. This is very inconsistent with jizz. This is... Look, man, I haven't been eating right lately. It's my thing. I'm working on my health. I just want my coffee. I don't have to explain my life to you. Okay. Um, ma'am, over there. Yeah. Is it this other milky stuff? Definitely not. What is this then? That's my other jizz. This oh was my her. god. Oh, okay. Look, there's a lot of people here. I wanted to be a little helpful since okay, this is my wait, first wait. time. Is it this ground up like black stuff? Yes. Okay. I know tea is made with filters, is also coffee. Yes. Uh oh. I actually wasn't sure about that one. Thank you for letting me know that. <laughs> Someone's helpful here. Unfortunately, we are all out of filters. Oh, is there anything else possibly that like is porous that we can like get the coffee grounds and soak through? You mean like a screen for yes, coffee? Yes, like a screen of coffee thing. Uh-huh. I don't know uh, how to make coffee. People bring it to me. Oh man. Uh Do you not know how coffee works? I don't. You put the jizz in it, you stir it, and then you give it to people after they sign the waiver. That's the whole point of coming here. This is the only one in the city. Coming here indeed. Okay, let's not be inappropriate. But I think we can use, I think we can. We can use these old windscreens. These old windscreens indeed. That's right, guys. Every improv circles around to what we need in the (laughs) studio. Guys, go to MLMPod.com. Our guest is already putting on his shoes. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> that is really bad. I, uh, I thought I thought it was over. Sorry. No, like we're so, well, then we do plugs. No plugs oh, for yeah, you, sorry. baby. <laughs> Guys, go to I'm ML. Rusty. Sorry. <laughs> go to mlmpod.com forward slash donate to help us get new windscreens because the one I'm speaking into gets a clearer sound than the other ones. They're about fifteen dollars each. Our good friend Steve F has donated a little money to help us on our way to get four. Mm-hmm. What's also, a windscreen? Oh, these. Like the fuzz? Yeah. The, fubby, the ball thing? I, I like it's a that. pop sc- or a pop screen, you can also call them. I didn't know that. I just thought it was like the muzzle or the... The muzzle, guys. Ooh, you gotta put a muzzle on like I'm... I love the lima bean cantianta and it tastes like human. Uh, <laughs> hey, Victor Cannibal. Uh, you guys gotta <laughs> <laughs> also <laughs> listen to my other podcasts. What the hell mouth? This movie's gay and hit it in critic. Also check out my rap music, which King Kaiser X is an album that our guest was on. You can find all of Fucking this stuff. Right. Download my CDs for free at MLMPod.com. Our guest, what you got? Oh man, uh, I have my project that's out still, the Andrew Elkins EP. I don't know why I said still, it's not going to not be out. But I also have my website, just nickperiod.com. I have a lot of different articles on my SoundCloud page. It's a little different than my stuff on Spotify because there's just a lot more fun stuff, a lot of freestyles that you could check out. And I definitely still have my podcast alone. Ponder, it's been a minute, and I would call it a hiatus because it's just a space of time between doing it again. Mm -hmm. Uh, But honestly, I I have to say the podcast was kind of a thing I was leaning back on, but doing this again... I kind of feel energized to do it. I think it's one of those like going to the gym things. Like once you do it, it feels good again. Or like uh, cutting a child's throat. Nicole. Okay. What you got to plug, baby? (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) Why? That shouldn't make me laugh so hard. Um, Because it's provocateur. I have a website. 
darlinghomebody.com. I'm kissing that website. You bitches. Oh, I love it when you call our fans bitches. <laughs> she has dope shit. I have stuff in my house that she made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, yeah, that yeah. Lone Ponderer logo, possibly made by yes. Nicole. Yeah. Yes, I it was me. definitely, along with other single covers that were made by her. Yeah, baby. At Darling Homebody on Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr, and now Twitter. Tweet, 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 tweet. I still don't fully understand how Twitter works. But I follow you. But I'm on it now. Tweet, 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 tweet. Is that it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, guys, and thank you again to Nick. Yes. Down with Rap Broadway. All right, guys. I I will be honest with Down you guys. Down with educational raps. Edutainment oh, for sure. in general. Education and entertainment should be exclusively Keep separate. the populace dumb as Yeah, baby. Fuck. Nah, just, they should just want to learn. Yeah, if you want to learn, <laughs> read a fucking learn. textbook. Don't force it on me. T.I. should not have to explain to you how the presidency works. <laughs> Well, T.I.'s doing a rap song, too? I don't know. I actually would want to hear T.I. talk about the presidency. He, he's pretty good. And he has a great grasp of the English, English language. Uh, what about when Killer Mike's talking about the presidency, Reagan? I mean, rappers like talking about Reagan because they're old. And yeah. he did a lot of fucked up things. Yeah, guys. Ronald Reagan, friggin' eat a shoe. <laughs> Kick <Yeah>. rocks. <laughs> I mean, he's dead, but yeah. Hey, guys, I've been James. I'm Nick Ghoul. Oh, yeah. Wait, I'm Fangs McCauldron. I'm Nick Ghoul. And I, I keep wanting to say ridiculous, but it's despiculous, imposter. And we've been mostly, mostly speaking, speaking Sentai. Sentai. Reaching for his shoes. I wasn't. I was no. reaching for the mic. <laughs> I know, guys. <laughs> Happy <laughs> Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> Sean, what is the scariest thing you has ever seen? Um, probably a mouse skeleton. <laughs> because, and I'll tell you why. Because a skeleton is bad enough, but if it's small as a mouse, it could be literally anywhere. Fresh what the produce, so I'm spitting cellophane raps. Call me yelling pilots, cause I'm getting hella brain jack. Tearing up novellas as I tell you, read the whole book. We been cool to get in cool to get back what the mold took. Skeeters beating bars, leave these skis and see. Stars. It's an ease to leave you scarred on your knees, wheezing hard I'm scary, not like Harry, but a mouse that is a skeleton My fan base is empty like this house that I am yelling in Funny on the mic, yes the podcast raps Money be for life, bless the god Nasdaq How body shiny rappers who exploded with some trash raps Cut up stuffed in trash bags and loaded in the hatchback Follow me on Snapchat at ruling over peak upon Check my snap story where I'm true Underground rap is the shit that I was bred up on I'm terrorizing everyone, a general of the Predacons At least if a skeleton is in a room with me, I know that Well, I can leave, but I might go to the bed And then a mouse skeleton could be inside my pillow Eat its way out and then eat my brains I'm searching for the merchant and his servant Adam Sky It's urgent to the virgin that a fervent spasm stops I'm the surgeon of the serpent who's observing plasm ply Surgeon certain currents till this fervent spasm stops Got some mobile fiber bro, just lose it This is good rock and roll uh, music Got you clued into this beat and verbal bruise And I'm saying so much stupid shit like seeing it in your kid. I need to quit rapping, time is ticking out my bio clock Got out your boss for your anemic licking on the hypo shot Spitting fire flames that are sizzling cause this pot goes high Fucking ladies kid, well I'm digging down a micro nine Yo I'm micro rock, I'm a beast inside the creek Get the west, I get more from, but in the east I die the sheep Go with silent, not the plot, the priest and plot, I am a freak Lucky. So, in that way, probably a mouse skeleton. And you I, saw this? I've seen one, yeah. What happened? Oh, well, I don't necessarily want to tell the whole story, but I'm gonna beat out some of the temples for you. Victor Garber and me aren't friends anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Fangs McCauldron. And I'm Nick Ghoul. You hate it.
No, you no, I did, no, I forgot what we were doing wow, next. You hate it. It's a uh, happy Halloween. And it's I'm most... a ghoul. Oh, yeah. I like Nick Ghoul like a lot. It threw me because it was so good. Okay, so let's do it one more time. I, I like that. You though. already did it. I think you could have. It's good. I think the no, talk and I think it's great. No, because then we need to switch into saying mostly speak in Sentai. Yeah, you just edited it. No, I, I want it all. Can all you the, edit it? To all of say, this should be the beginning. <laughs> no, I love these things. Spelling. These are my favorite parts of you guys' videos. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Okay. All right. That'll cut together and post happy, nice. Happy Halloween. Halloween, Halloween, happy, happy Halloween, my fair mummy. This has been a Marshland Media production produced by James McCullum. For more content, please visit mlmpod.com. To support our network and have access to exclusive podcasts, head over to patreon.com forward slash mlmpod and sign up today.